So it, what Element believes very strongly in is that we, we aim to accelerate the learning process through collaborative discovery, meaning that the mysteries of biology will, are really only going to be understood collectively in that, and therefore we need contributions in technologies that span fairly broad areas of science. And, uh, and that's been the spirit behind developing of the platform. Whether that's done in a more clinical setting, as is shown in some of the pictures below, whether it be for you know, rare and inherited disease, infectious disease, pediatric and adult oncology and the like, are all areas that, that I've spent significant parts of, of, <clears throat> of my career prior to joining Element. And in fact, some of the projects um, that my laboratory has participated in are actually highlighted in the, in the pictures above. Some of these were forensics. Um, in the two cases of the children on the uh, upper left and upper right, were uh, rapid sequencing cases to uh, find uh, clinically meaningful diagnostics to uh, improve the clinical care of those children. And then the two women you see in the middle is a fascinating case where they each carry a mutation in, a, in the same gene, uh, two different mutations or uh, between the women. But as you can see from their pictures, in one of the women, the mutation causes a fairly severe muscular dystrophy but in the other woman, that mutation actually causes uh, an ability to have a, a very unusual or very uh, significant change in muscular density. And it's these types of, of variants and these types of changes and really understanding them at the genome scale is, is what's been a, uh, a strong motivation for not only uh, designing experiments and executing experiments across biology, but also uh, helping to try to contribute to technologies that help uh, open up more of biology. So if we focus on the sequencer, uh, Element was founded, uh, as I mentioned, five years ago, and, this, and the sequencer is just now being launched. And the foundational ask for that platform is shown here. Number one was to be a best-in-class data quality, and I'll show you some, some data of that shortly. Uh, a strong affordability in both the instrument as well as the reagents, and then flexibility in the workflow, the ability to have uh, um, uh, the ability to use a number of different uh, options on the on the platform. So, as we see here on the right hand side of the slide, Element is shown um, uh, with the broad green dot compared to a number of other platforms, where we're plotting the price per gigabase in U.S. dollars versus the output per flow cell in gigabases. And as you see from the uh, from this from the plot uh, and where it is, just one second, um, is this this green dot is intentionally a little bit broad. So the specifications of the instrument are 800 million paired reads per flow cell. It's a two flow cell instrument. Uh, so the this this area of the instrument is where the two flow cells load. Um, this top part of the instrument is a control screen, a touch control screen. Um, this is one reagent nest for the uh, right flow cell. This is the reagent nest for the left flow cell. And then behind this door is the waste bottle. So the two flow cells sit in here. They can be started asynchronously, meaning one flow cell can be started at, uh, at time point A. And then at any time point in the future, the second flow cell can be started at different sequencing conditions if desired. The current kit is a paired uh, is a uh, 300 cycle kit which enables um, paired 150 sequencing, uh, and that and there's also enough reagents to perform up to 32 cycles of index sequencing, and so that may be in reading UMIs, index read one, index read two, etc. So it does support uh, all manners of indexing, and in the in uh, in the most common workflow is a paired 150 run. Uh, with full indexing in a, in a dual read indexing setting, allowing uh, and supporting unique dual indexing or combinatorial indexing. And I'll mention some more of these features as we go through the presentation. But at the list price of the kit, which is $1,680 US, that gives us a per gigabase cost of approximately $7 at specification. Uh, but as you'll see in some of the data, most of our users are actually seeing around 1 billion to 1.3 billion reads per flow cell. Although the specification remains at 800 million, we're, we're seeing quite a bit higher than that, which that actually brings the per gigabase cost uh, down in the $5, just over the $5 US range. We are launching a paired 75 kit later this year in Q4. 
that kit will cost $1,080 and is, and is tailored more towards RNA-seq counting applications or single cell. And when used for single cell, at the you know approximate 1 billion read output, which we see in the vast majority of cases, that puts the pricing in the $1, about a dollar per million reads, which is highly competitive even with the Novaseq S4. Uh, pricing from a per on a per read basis at the paired 75 condition. So very, very cost effective. Uh, the reason the green dot is as broad as it is, is, is uh, at the upper end of the dot is if at our specification price and the lower end of the dot is our observed price in the field. So I just wanted to give uh, some details around specifications and pricing. All of the specification details are uh, uh, clearly shown on our website as well, along with a series of application notes and a series of kits that we validated as compatible with the workflows on the instrument. 